Uh, hi, I'm here to kind of show you how to change the buttstock on an AR-15 style rifle uh, from a fixed rifle stock to a collapsible carbine style stock. Um, and we have here an AR-15 that's separated into the upper and lower. And uh, I'm just going to remove the buffer and spring. And then I'm going to use one of our magazine well filler blocks, which is very handy for working on the lower part of your AR. And once that's secured in the vise, I'm going to unscrew the buttstock screw here using our uh, buttstock wrench. You want to be careful when you're taking this out. The buttstock itself retains a little spring at the front end that bears on your uh, takedown pin. See it right there. And once that's off, uh, we then have to remove the extension tube. And normally these are torqued on pretty tight, and this wrench will engage the rear end of the receiver extension. And when you're removing it, you want to be careful because there's a detent and spring that it retains in the lower receiver. So I've got my thumb keeping that captured. Uh, once you've got that removed, you're going to put the carbine receiver extension back on. And there's a difference in the carbine receiver extensions. Uh, the latest M4 style of stock on military rifles has a smaller diameter than the commercial receiver extensions do. It's about a 20 thousandths difference. So you want to kind of watch out for that when you're ordering replacement stocks for your extension. Uh, the other thing you might want to keep in mind is the, the nut that retains the carbine stock. There are two styles of that. And this particular one is the square notch nut. Uh, you want to look out for them because it's going to make a difference as to which wrench you're going to use. The other style has rounded notches. Um, our wrench will accommodate either style. And first you want to thread the nut on about as far as it'll go. Then the end plate goes on. And this end plate, it serves to retain the spring for your pivot pin. So you got to be careful as you're putting it all together. Um, and you're basically going to screw this on just until it engages the buffer retainer enough to keep it in the lower receiver. Once that's done, I push the end plate forward and tighten up on the extension nut. I've just got that hand tight. Um, if you were working on military rifles or perhaps police rifles, ideally you would then use the wrench to, with a, in conjunction with a torque wrench, and it'd be 38 to 42 foot pounds of torque you'd apply to this nut. Now, we're not going to do that for the demonstration, but that would be how you'd use the wrench. I'm just going to snug it up a little. And then you can put your slider back on. You just kind of pull down on the lever there, and it'll go on. Place your buffer spring and buffer back in the extension, and you now have a collapsible stock on your AR-15.